So speaking of the quiz, I thought let's go through it and see what that quiz was all about. Okay, so if you are new to the class, then um, you, you, you know, you can still go and do the quiz. Um, they are available on our website, so um, you can access them from there. But I'm going to go through some of the answers because I did notice that some people still struggled quite a little bit with this work um, and this concept of um, finding angles, etc. So as uh, angles and sides using trigonometry, and we really can't uh, do these um, these two D trig questions if we don't know how to work out sides and angles um, using trigonometry. So having said that, I hope you've got your calculator with you. I need to quickly grab mine. So give me two seconds and we welcome. I see Miss Nicole has joined us. Thank you, Miss Nicole. We um, I now have a co-pilot. How amazing is that? <laughs> Hi, Marie. Okay. Hi, good friends. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Nicole, for joining us. <laughs> I, I did forget about the spotlight, so thanks for that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so these were the questions you had on your quiz. And let's look at this first question. Maybe you remember it already. So we are looking at the angle 57. Uh, we have the hypotenuse side, we have the adjacent, no, that's not adjacent. Let's fix that quickly. This is our opposite side and this is our adjacent side. So because I need to solve for x in this case, I'm going to use adjacent and hypotenuse and angle 57. So that is cos of 57 equals x over 6,5. So because we need to solve for x, we're going to times by that 6,5. And then x you find is 3,54. So that is obviously the last answer, answer D. Okay. Right. Let's all do question two now together. Um, grab your calculator and everything else that you need. And let's quickly do question two. We are solving for angle X as soon as uh, side X. As soon as you have an answer, um, post it in the chat. Let me know. Let's take a few, let's take 30 seconds, quick, quick, and solve for that angle X. Put it in the chat as soon as you have an answer. Okay, so Kukli says 9.9. .9. Nine .9. Uh, no, Zinkley, my voice is not muted. I think everyone can hear me. Maybe check your audio. Miss Nicole, if you could um if you could maybe check with Zinkley, see if she has her audio issue that we can solve. Nati says it's 6.5. Okay. And then others say it's 5.6. Some say it's D. Okay. So which one is it? We have lots of disagreements with which, about which one it is. So let's label our side straight away. Hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is adjacent. 
we are going to use the opposite in the adjacent side to solve for x and we are going to use angle 41. So it's tan of 41 equals 6,5 over x. Now we have to times by the x. And again, these are things we have to do in the 2D problems, the word problems that we solve in trigonometry, etc. So we have to start getting these right, guys. So times by x on both sides. So I get x tan 41 is equal to 6,5. And then we are going to divide by tan 41 on both sides. So we have 6.5 divided by tan 41. And that gives me 7,47. We have one person over there in Taku said A. D, right, so it is 7,5. It is option A, 7,5. Okay, don't guess, everyone. You have to work this out. Okay, so which one is adjacent and which one is hypotenuse? Okay, uh, let's listen for this next one. Um, Simam Kele. So this is question three. That this was your question three on the quiz. Okay, so we are solving for theta, not x in this case. So we go to the angle that we are working with, and that is theta. So theta, we go across, that's opposite. You are right, the hypotenuse are always across from the 90 degrees. So the opposite side is across from the angle I'm looking at. And then the adjacent side is the one that's left over or just next to the angle that you are working with. Okay, so in this case now we have to solve for an angle. So which two sides do I have? I have the opposite and the hypotenuse. Again, everyone, Let's quickly solve this. Let's take a minute. Put your answer in the chat as soon as you're ready. And you can identify which of these four options it is. Don't guess. Don't copy another person's answer. It is not helpful at all. Just work it out. Check how we did the others. Do them the same. Use the sides that you are I'm going to um, use to calculate the angle to make your trig ratio. So in this case, it's going to be opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse, which trig ratio is that? Okay, so that's, that's your thought process. Come guys, there are 75 of you. Well, 73 minus myself and Miss Nicole, unless Miss Nicole also wants to put some answers in. No problem. We welcome answers from everyone, Miss Nicole. So <laughs> lots more answers can come in. Come, let us know. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna solve this one um, like this. So I say sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that is three over six. That is a half. On my calculator, I have to go shift sign three over six because I'm now solving for the angle. Shift sign three over six is going to give you 30. Yay! <laughs> Yay to everyone who got that one right. Okay, so Mokabela, I'm going to do number four. So please listen again as I explain. How do we know which trig ratio to use? Okay, so we start off, we label our sides. This is the hypotenuse. I've got angle theta here. We are solving for that angle theta. So from theta, I go across, that's opposite. The side next to the angle theta is the adjacent. Okay. <clears throat> so, we want to solve for the angle theta, so we use the two known sides, the known side eight and four. Those two sides are adjacent and hypotenuse, which means I have to choose K. 
cos cos of theta. Um, sorry, Vinay, this is um this is the quiz that the rest of the class did. So I think that's why I'm going quite fast. I know this is your first lesson. So just bear with us. It doesn't always go this fast. We are just literally working through the quiz that the class did last week. So everyone else has seen this already. So just try and listen and follow what's going on. I won't always be going so fast. Don't worry. This is just um, because we have done this before. But bear with us. You'll see it is going to slow down quite a bit. We just need to get past the quiz. Okay. So because we have adjacent in our potenies, uh, we use cos as I was saying. So cos of theta equals four over eight. Okay, so many of you are saying 60 degrees. Okay, well done. Let's see if that is right. So we're solving for the angle. So on our calculator, we go shift cos four over eight. Shift cos four over eight. And that is 60 degrees. Well done. Well done, everybody. Again, I say, if you're a little bit lost, this is stuff that we did um, in our first two lessons. So um, just bear with us. You will not, um, it will not always be going this fast. Don't worry. Okay. Where's our last question? Did I copy the last question? I hope so. Or was that it? Oh, there's a question that I missed. Okay, so let's look at this last one over here. I think this was probably question one. I did them in a different order. Doesn't matter. We still have to solve for x. So quickly take a minute, one last minute, and solve for side x. We're back to solving for a side. Okay, let's see. Post your answer in the chat as soon as you have it. Remember not, not to guess, just give it a go. And then let's see where it say, says 2.3. Kuchle also says 2.3. Where's everyone else? Come, guys. Post an answer. Let's see. Let's see. What is the right one? It's the same story, you know, so we are going to use the side that we have and the side that we want. The side that we have and the side that we want with the angle that is given. So in this case, so let's start off as always, label our sides. This is going to be the hypotenuse. Opposite from the 27 is the x. Adjacent to the 27 degrees over here is the A. That's adjacent. Okay. So that's the first thing you have to do. So, you know, if that is what you are wondering about. Okay. Now, the side that you have and the side that you want, the side that you have is the hypotenuse. The side that you are solving for is the opposite. Opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite in hypotenuse, that trig ratio is sine. So we do sine of the angle that is given, that's 27, and that's x over 5. And we times by 5 on both sides to solve for x. So we go on our calculator 5 times sine 27, and we get. 2.269, lots of decimal places, which we are going to round to 2.3. Well done. Well done, everyone. Lots of you got that. See, Trini, well done. You got it too. Well done. Okay, good stuff. Right. So keep working at it, guys. Keep finding your sides and your angles. 
and keep working with the trigonometry. Wow, we are now 80 strong in this class. Well done. Excellent. Welcome, everyone. Welcome if you're a newbie. I hope you are here to stay and that, um, yeah, that we will see you here many more times in the future. Okay, so back to our trigonometry word problems. So last week, if you are new, remember the recordings are available on our website. If you did not manage to um, attend a lesson or if you want to catch up, you can go to the recordings on our website and you can redo the quiz. Okay, the quiz, all the quizzes stay up. We don't take them down, so you can keep doing them as many times as you like. Right, Sisipo so, has a question. Let's hear from Sisipo. Oh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, class. Hi, Sisipo. Um, ma'am, I wanted to ask, so at school, we did trigonometry last term, and we recently started last week with uh, analytical geometry. So I wanted to ask, how is that going to affect any of my classes? Okay, so Sisipo, what we do is we also follow the order of the school curriculum. Um, and sometimes your school decides to do things a little bit differently, and that's fine. But we follow that plan that the government set out. So we will be doing analytical geometry a little bit later on. We are going to do trigonometry for the next um, six weeks. And well, until not six weeks, sorry, six lessons. And we're going to finish with that uh, next week, next week, Thursday, actually. And then we're going to start statistics. And then I think we go to analytical geometry. So we are going to get there. And it is probably really good that you do it first in class. And then you come to our Toby and we help you with the things you don't understand. Um, in terms of what you're doing now with the trigonometry, I promise you, trigonometry is so important that you can never do enough of it, okay? So don't feel like you're wasting your time. Um, it is, uh, I'm not saying you do feel that way, but trigonometry is very, very important. It is about a third of your paper, um, of paper two, when you get to matric. So practicing your trigonometry skills, trust me, will never, ever go to waste. Okay, so for the rest of you as well, if you are in a slightly different place to where we are, not a problem. We, are, we might be redoing things that you've already done. You will benefit from it because I'm sure you guys did not understand some of the things that you did last term or the term before. And we will also cover the things that you are covering now. We are just um going to cover them a little bit later okay so i hope that answers the question right back to today's problem and solving these two 2d trigonometry word problems okay let's have a look let's have a look okay i want everyone to read and remember what we did last week with the emoji with the reading emoji. When you are done reading the question, then you post your reading, um, you, your reading emoji that you are done. What does the reading emoji look like? That one. We had many variations last week, so let's see. So if you're done reading, post a little emoji like that for me so that I know you've read the question. Okay, let's read. Yo, some of you read fast. <laughs> Pumulelo, are you happy that you finished reading this problem? 
Okay, wonderful. Okay, so it says here, a person stands at point A, looking up at a bird sitting on the top of a building, point B. There the glasses are off again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so the height of the building is X meters. Okay, so I hope you're taking screenshots of everything we are doing so that you can keep it. <laughs> Paulette, have you got a monocle? That's really cool. I didn't even know they made those. <laughs> Okay, so we've got X over here. That is the height of the building. And point A is 5,77 meters away from the foot of the building. So this distance here is 5,77. And the angle of incline from the horizontal, angle of incline, angle of um, inclination, that's all the same, okay? That is to the top of the building is 60. So calculate the height of the building as shown in the diagram. Okay, so we want the height of the building. So first I want you to tell me in the chat, which trig ratio are we going to use? So you can draw a rough sketch for yourself, a little triangle, just roughly representing. Remember how we drew last week? And you can do that if you can't take a screenshot for whatever reason. Okay. Right. So a few of you are saying we are going to use tan. So we go across from the 90. That's the hypotenuse. Across from the 60. That's the opposite. And the remaining side is A. Okay. Some are saying tan. Some are saying sine. How do we know? Okay. So the side that we want is x the side that we have is 5,77 the side that is x is the opposite side in the triangle and the side that is 5,77 is adjacent so I have I'm gonna have to work with opposite and adjacent which is tan so tan of 60 degrees is going to work in this case Okay, so x, so our opposite side is x and adjacent is 5,77. Okay, now go ahead and solve for x. Great things. Post your answer in the chat so we can see. 9,99 says under the C word. Simon Kile, Sunday, well done, everyone on the board. There's the rest of us. Well done, excellent. Okay, so I hope if you're posting an answer, you're just not just posting someone else's answer, okay? Again, that does not help. Let's do our own work and make sure we know how to get there. So we're going to say 5.77 times tan of 60, 5.77 times tan of 60 gives me 9,99. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and what are we measuring in? Meters. Okay, so we can add our units as well. Well done, everyone. Let's go on to our next one. And let's, um, I think this one, like I did earlier today before Mr. Cole showed up, let's fly solo on this one let's fly solo okay so i'm going to give you till 1737 to solve this question it says okay some of you still not sure how which which to choose okay please listen carefully guys because i can't keep repeating it I have explained a few times now which sides to use. So I'm going to do it one more time and then I really want you to try and do it without the explanation anymore, okay? So for the previous question with the building, we wanted to solve for X. So you start off immediately when you get the question, label your sides. The hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. The opposite 
is from 60 degrees. You go across, that's opposite. And then adjacent is next to the 60 degrees. So that's the A. Now the side that you have that's got a value to it is the 5,77 side. And that is your adjacent side. The side that you are looking for um, is the opposite side. So the opposite side is X. So that combination, opposite and adjacent, that combination of sides go together, that gives you tan because the opposite and the adjacent side is always tan. So that's how we know to use tan. Uh, Zogs, no, we do ask, uh, we are quite a few people in the class um, to just post your answer in the chat. Uh, we just try to keep the noise to a minimum. Um, when you do have a question, feel free to raise your hand and we will try and answer it. But post your answers in the chat. Trust me, I read them all. Okay, so let's go back now. One last try for this one. Uh, Ms. Nicole, could you maybe see if you could assist um, Mokoko Bale? Um, it seems like they are having trouble with the calculator. <laughs> I will do that. I'll, I'll private message. And Thank you. The uh, Sunday, I see you are posting your... Okay, once you've read it, go for it. Solve it. Don't wait for us. You can go for it. Okay, we've got three answers so far. Come everyone. I hope you can see the 10 over here, but it's also in the wording of the question. Okay, there's a few answers from Fumisa and Donello. Well done. And Pumolelo, if you're a newbie, then um, just listen to the answer if you don't know, but try. Give it a go. See if you can't use some of your trig knowledge. If you've done trigonometry, try it. Give it a go. Okay, so there's quite a few answers. I'm going to give it till 22. I wonder what seems to be the problem with the calculator, guys. You must just find your three buttons, sine, cos, and tan, and just know when to press shift and when to just work out without pressing shift. Okay. So first tell me in the chat, which ratio are we going to use? Sine, cos, or tan? Just type in the, in the, everyone saying tan, okay. Right, so we start from the 90 degree, we go across, we do the hypotenuse. We go to our angle, we go across, that's going to be our opposite side. And then, we go to the remaining side, which is X over here. That is going to be our adjacent side. Okay. Now, which trig ratio are we going to use? If you listened previously, I said you use the side that you have and the side that you want. So the side that is given with a measurement is the opposite side. And the side that you are solving for is the adjacent side. And that is Toa, tan. So we set it up. Tan, tan always goes with an angle. So it's tan of 35 degrees. That is the opposite side. It's 10. And 
the adjacent side is x. Now we go, because we want to solve for x, we're going to times by x on both sides. Or some of you said to me last week that you replace the turn of x, you swap them over. Okay, that's one way. If that's how you learned it, that's fine. As long as you understand why we do it. Okay, so now we divide by tan 35 to get x on its own. Now calculator, calculator, you literally just press 10, divide button, tan button, 35, close your bracket and equal. 14,28. Okay, many of you got that, which is great, guys. Okay, so calculator work, you just punch it in the way it is there. 10 divided by tan button, 35, close your bracket, x is 14,28. Okay, lovely stuff. Let's see if we can move on to one more thing, which is how to add your own diagram if no diagram has been given, because that happens many times. Okay, so let's start here. Let's read again. Okay, so emojis, reading faces, on. <laughs> yes, of course, you can get a screenshot. Okay, let me go fetch my bubble over there. But let's read first before I talk about the bubble. Okay, and emoji faces in the chat so that I can see you done reading. Already, wow, that's cute. <laughs> okay, there's a few few spaces already done reading. <laughs> okay, right, so I'm going to read it one more time for all of us. So Mandla flies a kite on a 17 meter string at an inclination of 63 degrees. What is the height h? of the kite above the ground. And if Mandla's friend Sibo stands directly below the kite, calculate the distance D between the two friends. Okay, so here are a few steps that I suggest. And you see there is no diagram here, which means we need to draw our own one. Okay, so before we draw, Think about if you had to see this in real life, visualize it, what would it look like? So just picture it in your head and then try and make a sketch of it. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute to just, just make a sketch, just what you think this situation looks like. And of course, we are doing trigonometry. You ride zongs, they form a right angle triangle. Yeah, we're doing trigonometry, so we're definitely going to be drawing some sort of right angle triangle. Where's the kite? Where's the 17 meters? Where's the 63? Where would you place all of that? Okay, so draw the, make a little drawing of it. And then label the sides and label the angles. Okay, so just do the drawing now and then we'll check in to see how our drawings have gone. You're all being artists right now. Oh. 
Okay. Right, so I'm going to start here. Let's see how your drawings have gone. So I'm going to start here with Mandla. And I'm going to put an M down. And I know that Sipo is over here and the kite is over here. So I'm putting those three labels down for my triangle. So the kite and then Mandla and Sipo. Okay. Now, Mandla holds the kite. So this is him holding the kite. And Sipo is directly below the kite, which means there's our 90 degree angle. And then there's a distance. That's our 90 degree. There's a distance D between the two friends. And where am I going to put my 63? Well, it says here, that he flies the kite at 17 meters string at an inclination of 63 degrees. And where does the 17 go? That is the string. Here's Mandla standing over here holding the string to the kite. So this must be the 17. So how did that go? Give me a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down in the chat, depending on how it went. <laughs> How's your card draw? I wish I could see how your card drawings are looking. <laughs> nice, Lunelo. You're on fire there. Well done. Okay, excellent. Okay, so after we have visualized and we've drawn, now we're going to label our sides. We've labeled some of the sides already. So we've got D, which is the distance between the two friends, and then there's H which is the height of the kite above the ground. So that's what we are going to now solve for. But before you solve, you should definitely check your diagram, read your question again, and make sure that you are happy with what you've done. Okay, so I think we can proceed. But please, guys, take down these steps that are quite useful. See if you can use those. Um, in the upcoming questions, especially in our next quiz questions, because you're all going to have to do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to quickly do, because we are a little bit tight for time, I'm going to do question one where we are solving for H. So and in another color, let's do a purple. So from the hypotenuse, uh, from the right angle across, that's hypotenuse. From angle 63 across, that's the opposite. And over here is the adjacent uh, next to the 63. So we want to solve for H. H is unknown. So we have to pair it up with a side that is known. And that is, sorry, this is getting a little bit confusing maybe because that's hypotenuse. I'm just going to write it here like this. So that H there is for the hypotenuse. So we're going to pair up our unknown side with a side that has a value, and that is the 17 side. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. So that is sine of 63. And that is H over 17, opposite over hypotenuse. And we times by 17 on both sides, and we'll get our answer. 17 times on your calculator times sine of 63 equals 15,14. Okay. And then lastly, well done, everyone. I see you working with me. Lovely stuff. So nice to see that. Well done. And then lastly, we are going to do the uh, side D, which is the adjacent side. Now, you've got two options here. Because you've already calculated this side here, it's 15,14, you can now use Pythagoras, or you can use trigonometry to solve that last side. Well done, Pliny. That's great. Okay. 
uh, converted to what um, I'm not sure what you want to convert to because it is just in meters. Okay, so we, we're more worried about the trig here than converting. Okay, so let's just quickly do our last one. Fifteen comma one five. You know what? I'm gonna believe you on that one and just change mine. I've taken it off my calculator already. We can make it fifteen comma one five. Thanks, thanks, Leah. Yeah, guys, just make it fifteen comma one five. Okay, and now the adjacent side. I use trig because trig is so much quicker than Pythagoras. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Again, the adjacent side is not known, so we pair it up with a known side. So it's going to be cos of 63 is D over 17. And we times by D on both sides. So 17, sorry, by 17 on both sides. So 17 times cos 63, and I get... 7, 7, 2. Yes, many of you agree with me. That's why.